that's right guys we are in chicago chai town so the first place that i stopped right after getting settled in my hotel was pizzeria uno to try chicago's famous deep dish pizza it lived up to the hype it was so fresh and tasted really good it tasted like actual pizza <laughs> Took a little walk down Magnificent Mile before heading back to my hotel just to get a feel of the city for the night. In the morning, I headed over to Starbucks Reserve. Yes, there was a line. And yes, as you can see, it is four stories tall of Magnificent and Starbucks. I love the architecture pillars in the center. Each floor is something a little bit different. And I definitely enjoy the pastry and cappuccino I got. I think the top floor is wine, the third floor is a kind of coffee experimental place, second floor is kind of their normal pastry and coffee. And they had a little bit of different drinks and the first floor is their gift shop. Headed down to Millennium Park where I was going to go see The Bean aka Cloudgate. It was designed by the sculptor Anish Kapoor. And the structure was started in 2004. And this was like my biggest goal, to see this sculpture and take pictures in front of it and to see what it's all about. It was just as great as you see on the TV. And now we're passing by the Crown Fountain in Millennium Park. This is a great fun place for kids and family. Definitely engraved my name into the bench. <laughs> Now I'm heading to the Art Institute of Chicago. This has to be one of the largest museums I have ever been in in my life. I was breaking a sweat, guys. And I think I got to everything. I think. <laughs> but they had some of the widest collection of art and that I've ever seen. And I love museums. Everywhere I go, I will always find a museum. I wanted to go to the Contemporary Art Museum, but I did not make it to it that this time around i would definitely be coming back i love chicago so much you'll probably be hearing me say that all throughout the video but yes this museum was huge had great selections of art a lot of the art that i remember learning about in high school and yeah so now i'm just heading over for lunch and definitely if you have time stop at chicago's lake michigan beach and not to mention the weather was amazing and I'm having lunch at Wake and Bacon. This is such a cute restaurant. I was a little worried because of how pretty it was that the food wouldn't be good, but guys, that chicken sandwich was the bomb.com. So now I'm heading over to 360 Chicago. Um, I had just left the Sky Deck, but just be careful if you have the Explore Pass that you can only go to the sky deck tuesday through thursday which i was very upset about i felt like oh i lost some money there but i spent a lot of time at 360 chicago and i had an amazing time the views were breathtaking they were so beautiful and you can see navy pier from here make sure you go to navy pier if you have time i'll definitely be going when i come back to chicago but yeah here's me standing in line to get on the tilt um, something I will never do again as that was very scary and I honestly prefer roller coasters than tilting 90 degrees off of a building. I don't know how little kids were able to do that. I almost cried. And in the morning, I stopped at Stan's Donuts and quickly headed over to Magnificent Mile again to do a little bit of shopping. Um, didn't do much but stopped at Zara and Uniqlo. Unique Glow, I think I'm saying that right, and of course I st stopped at Primark. I was so excited to find out they had one. Then after some shopping, I went to the Science and Industry Museum. Once again, this museum was massive, I tell you. If you are a little nerd like me and love science and, you know, all things science and technology, you would definitely enjoy this. Very family-friendly if I come back and I'm with my family, I will definitely be bringing them back. This place was so cool. 
and this was probably my favorite part of the museum. I spent probably over 45 minutes here just playing with all the different things and learning about storms and weather. Now I'm heading over to my favorite part of the whole trip, which was the architecture cruise, something that is an absolute must, and I made American sure American office did tower, it. okay? But it's designed to look like a cathedral in Sevilla, Spain. So this is an American office tower designed to look like a European religious building. It is kind of funny. <laughs> it is kind of funny to think of American office towers designed to like look like European religious buildings. This is a normal style of architecture in the early 1900s. It's called European Revivalism. And we're gonna see more of it. Deco. And then, 1929, the stock market crash. Look at the views on this. I would definitely rate the architecture cruise a 10 out of 10. You didn't go to Chicago if you didn't do this, guys. But yes, one of my favorite parts of the trip. Absolutely beautiful. This is, even if you live in Chicago, it's a great, like, <laughs> date spot, <laughs> anything. It's, it was just literally perfect. Look at that view. And I stopped for, my last stop for the night was dinner at Nonina, which has to be the best Italian food I've ever had in my life. Look at that. And, wow. <laughs> 10 out of 10 on the smoked duck lasagna. And my last stop was the Gardelia chocolate shop. I was so cool from the lasagna. I did not have any room for the cool ice cream I was seeing every little kid leave with. But I did grab a, grab a few chocolates for my fam. This place was so nice. As a big candy and chocolate lover myself, I was thoroughly pleased. <laughs> and that's all. Till next time.